Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the first segment of my August haul and it is September but I ordered a bunch of stuff in August and it's all going to arrive because it does take two to three weeks at a minimum for stuff to get to me. This is my August Beyond Buckskin subscription box. So let's take a look at what is included. I did not open it to take a look before I started filming. So let's get this open and see what it is. This is the Deluxe Club box that you can find on the website. I'll have it linked in the description. And this is going to be a shirt and a piece of jewelry. So let's see what this is. Blueberry Lapis Bracelet. This is, let's see. This is the perfect piece to celebrate the blueberry moon. Oh, this is new. So this time there is a little bag that this comes in. Here is the note card that describes the bracelet. And here is the bag. Oh, nice bag, actually. Very cool. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at that. So nice. I love it. It looks really good. I can't wait to wear that with something. Blue is my favorite color, so I'm super happy to be able to get that this month. And then I don't want this paper to go everywhere. Let's see if I can get this shirt out. Okay. And I'm sitting all of my stuff on top of these quilt blocks that I need to sew. I'm working on that as well. So this is a shirt that says, the quote. here's the postcard describing the shirt. This says, honor your ancestors. Michael Sayers was born in Bremerton, the fifth of six children. His family immigrated, his family migrated from Fort Peck to the Pacific Northwest in 1941. He is an enrolled member of Turtle Mountain and served in the Air Force, obtained a bachelor's in uh, art education, and went on to teach at, for 32 years at South Kitsap High. So it says that his work represents the Plains lifestyle of Chippewa culture as the people migrated west to the Dakotas and Montana. So he's named this shirt, Honor Your Ancestors, Michael Sayers. So let's take a look at what this one looks like. Oh, very cool. Check that out. Graphic. Uh, geometrics on this one definitely a very plains inspired or plains motifs here and then at the bottom of the shirt underneath the image says honor the ancestors that's very cool I like it good shirt good shirt to have I always appreciate the um the information that is sent about the artist as well we actually lived in Bremerton Washington so it's pretty interesting that that this artist was born there um Two of my kids were born in Bremerton as well because my husband's in the military. So they were born in Bremerton and it um, looks like we just have like so many things that I recognize in common with Michael. Um, so very cool. Check that out. Go to the Beyond Buckskin website and sign up for the club yourself. This one, like I said, is the deluxe and you do get a t-shirt and a piece of jewelry each month. I hope you enjoyed this part. Stay tuned for some bullet journal supplies. Okay, we're back for part two. I have something from Brooklyn uh, Post and also from Yellow Paper House. And then I have a larger package from uh, a native owned company in South Dakota. I have opened everything. I didn't open it all the way up. I just opened it from the from opening it. Uh, let's see. I think I got everything out of that one. So this one is from Brooklyn Post. This is Sheena. And she has great stickers. Check that out. I love her. Thank you. I love her style. She's got a very cool style. I love watching her videos on YouTube. You can check her out. I'll make sure to link her in the description. And what did I order? Oh, this is a little bit of a, not a restock, but I ordered a couple of, um, Christmas stickers and some, I think I ordered some wheat stickers. Well, let's open it up and check. Like I said, I love Sheena's style. She's a graphic design artist. I know that she recently finished or is almost finished um, illustrating a book. So she has some great designs. 
I love her bookmarks. I just think they're really nice. I like using bookmarks. I read so much. Everything has, uh, all my books have a various bookmarks in them. So this is nice. It has a nice tassel on it. It says books are magic. And then of course has Brooklyn Post on the back. Really fun design. And then I ended up with, so here are some days of the week stickers. That's two of them. So I think that's six weeks worth. And I think in one of my most recent videos, you did see me having several days of the week video or uh, days of the week stickers. However, my son recently started doing bullet journaling and so he took some of mine. So I, I was happy to share and that just meant I needed to order some more. Um, Sheena also has some gift labels. I thought it'd be really cool to support a small business as I start prepping for, for Christmas. I also got this autumn sticker sheet. So this has two days of the week, um, weeks of stickers, and then just some fun little designs with coffee and scarves for the fall. And then also a Christmas sticker pack. That looks really cool. Here is a vinyl sticker of a girl with a camera. This is so cool. I love Sheena's designs. And then I had to get this. Look at how cool this looks. Okay, let me take it out of the packaging. I'm pretty sure there's a protective film on it. I actually have plans to give, yes, it, they both have the film on them. I actually have plans to give one for a gift, but what a fantastic keychain. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I just love it so much. I love the purple hair. I love the headphones. I love all of it. Like I said, Sheena's designs are so good. I really like buying, buying from her. I've purchased stickers in the past and a couple of bookmarks. And I think this is the first time I've ordered something else. So I'm happy to get the keychains. So there is my small order from, from Sheena. Create your own sunshine. Oh, that's a cool little postcard. Check that out. Love the graphic design of that. Very cool. I can add that to my, um, I have like a cork board where I hang a bunch of stuff up. And this is simply grid paper. This is the classic happy planner size. Oh shoot, I don't have my, hang on, I'm gonna get my thing. Okay, here is the notebook I've been using. The world was hers for the reading. This is just the classic size happy planner. And I have three tabs set up. The last two are for my classes. The first one is for my USO volunteerism because I am the lead volunteer, one of the lead volunteers for the Mill Spouse Program at the USO here on our base. And so I ordered this. As you can see, it's going to fit perfectly. It is just grid paper. It's, I can't remember how many sheets. I'll make sure to link it. Um, I got this from Yellow Paper House. I use their Etsy store, but I know that they also have a standalone website. I had a plan uh, to use this for my bullet journal next year. So I don't think I'm going to do that anymore. Um, my initial plan was to divide the page into quarters and then have these larger spaces for each day of the week. So I would be able to have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday notes, and then Saturday, Sunday, just like in my current bullet journal. I don't think it's going to work. I think that it might be too big for me. Um, I like being able to throw my bullet journal. Sorry, that's kind of like loud and crinkly. I like being able to throw my bullet journal in my bag when I go somewhere. I carry a large purse, so I like being able to carry that around with me, and I am i don't really want to stop. So we'll see. I'll still use this paper. I'm going through paper a lot because of being in school, and it's, I just use it because it's a good it's a good notebook. So here is my Brooklyn Post order. Let me set that here and get these yellow paper house out of the way. She has so many good stuff. Um, so many different sizes of paper though, if you're looking for something. This is super exciting. Let me see. I'm gonna make sure that I just don't have my address out for everybody. Okay, I ordered new shirts for my kids and I and for my husband because Thrive was or is um, moving locations. So this is, um, the website is Thrive. I think it's Thrive Unlimited. Here is one of the logos. This is the New Tradition Podcast logo. I love it. It's really cute. 
I like that they have the microphone inside the teepee. That's cool. So that's a vinyl sticker actually. And then here is another vinyl sticker that says for the love of our people. I think this might've been part of the campaign to get vaccinated against COVID-19. You know, our communities have really been hit hard. Our native communities have been hit hard. And so we're all doing our part. So I did purchase a few t-shirts. Oh, sorry. I just hit the camera. Sacred is the vibe. I love this. I got two of them, different colors. So I have a red and like a turquoise blue. And then I got two of this purple shirt, which is a floral design. And it says, give us back to the land. I love that one. It's so cool. And then I think these are all the same. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I ordered for love for the love of our people shirts for my kids and myself or maybe for my husband. I need to double check the sizes. I will definitely link this down below. Be sure you check them out. Support a native owned business. Like I said, they are in South Dakota. Yeah, these are all the same shirt. So you can see the design folded up. I love these shirts. I'm going to save a couple of them for Christmas presents. Um, and yeah, I've started Christmas shopping already, partly because I just struggle sometimes and I don't want to do something last minute. And partly also because, like I've mentioned so many times, um, shipping here can take a super long time. So I definitely try to be like on top of it when I know that my kids or my husband wants something specific or they're looking for something specific for Christmas. Um, because of living overseas, we often do experiences for Christmas. And of course, COVID has put a cramp in our style. Um, so we haven't been able to travel or anything like that. But anyway, this is one of my getting started on waiting or looking for Christmas gift t-shirt orders. Uh, like I said, Thrive Unlimited, based out of South Dakota. Check the link in the description. And you can purchase from a small business and support a native-owned shop. All right, that was part two. And I know I'm expecting a couple more things. So I will be right back with part three. Okay, let's do another segment of finishing opening up my orders for August. And let's call this August and September. This is my bullet bundle, so I will save that. And I did a few other sticker and um, like happy planner notebook orders. So first of all, I ordered these. This is from Fox and Pine Planners. And these are bookmarks. Look at how pretty they are. So this one is just like white with gold polka dots. Here's a gold or pink glitter, pineapples, and then a blue. And so these will fit in the Happy Planner just like that. Well, I suppose I want them to be up here because they are like top tabs. So I have a top tab separator here. So I suppose it's not really going to work too well to have them right next to each other. But this is going to be really helpful. I do use the tabs. I do use uh, the top and the side tabs. And I realized that I needed to have something that helped me when I had separated my sections because of doing um, my schoolwork in a different way. Or because of having my notes in my planner in a different way. So these are fun and super easy to use. You can't really, oh shoot, that one is really short. I mean, I you can still grab it. You, can, you can't really see it here. You can see the other three. Let me see if I go like this. Like you can see the other ones over the edge, just that little tiny bit of paper. You totally can't see that last one. Okay, well, I'll figure it out. We'll see if I can make it work. I do like it though. And this is, let me double check the name. This is a subscription order from Lovely Mine. And look at how cute these are. So I joined the subscription just because I thought it was such a fun and cute 
pack of stickers. This is my first month and whoops. Okay, I can't even get all of them out. This is my first month. Let's set this over here. So here is a little character with a star and a dr banana drink. Here is post-it notes and on top of a sheet of stickers, drink stickers. And this is just the card stock that it comes with, comes packaged with. And then also kind of like a journaling card to show that I signed up. Whoops, I can never get these open. I should just tear at them. Um, the journaling card for signing up. And then here is, um, I think this is a vinyl sticker. So I just love her characters. I think they look really cute and I like getting little fun subscriptions in the mail. So there's that. And then let's see. Oh, this is my order that I did from her. Okay, so this is, like I said, this is from Love Me Mind Shop. And this is before, I think this is before I decided to join the subscription. These are so adorable. Let's see if I can get them open. I love enamel sticker, uh, enamel pins, and I actually have a bulletin board that I put them up on. So this is a boba tea pin, which I love. It's so cute. And then I bought a sheet of stickers. I think these are the self-care stickers that she offers in her shop. You can go ahead and click on the link in the description below, and I will have that available so you can check it out. Um, they are just so cute. Look at these. I love those. Okay, next up I ordered from Savannah James Company. I ordered some vinyl stickers. Let's see if I remember what they were. Like I said, the mail takes a minute to get here. So sometimes I forget what I ordered. So there is a little freebie sticker that has their logo. And here is a little like journaling card that has, oh, it's their card. It's their business card. That has all their information. Here are the stickers I ordered. These are for me and my kids. We all just got new water bottles. And not only do we decorate our water bottles, but we also decorate our um, laptops and the cover of my iPad and just kind of everything. So first up, here is a mason jar with some flowers in it. So cute. Here is pineapples, uh, sorry, a pineapple shaped floral arrangement. Ew, David. I love Schitt's Creek. I'm actually re-watching it again right now. Here is a um no sticker because um yes. Here is not fragile like a flower, fragile like a bomb, as we all should be. Women belong in all the places where decisions are being made. I love this. I love the colors. I love the design. And finally, it's fine, I'm fine, everything's fine. <laughs> I just thought that was kind of funny. So I'll show the kids and we'll see which ones the boys want to have for their water bottles and laptops. And I think you've seen my sewing machine that was also very decorated. So I just love doing stuff like that. Next up, I'm pretty sure these are the new covers I ordered. Yes, the new covers I ordered for my Happy Planner. Let's see how to open this. I ordered these because I am using them all the time and I wanted to be able to switch them out and, uh, if, I wanted, if I felt like it. And I wanted to also, um, yeah, just have like my own cover. So let me grab my planner over here and let's take a look. So I ordered two sets. I ordered one that is black and white floral. The back is the same. Maybe, oh, is it, it's not exactly the same. The, black, the back is black and white floral as well is what I mean to say as the same. Personalized with my name on this one and then I have a colorful floral personalized with Res Girl. I love that. It's really pretty. So just super easy, just like the other, you know, just like a typical, I guess, 
um, Happy Planner cover. It's a little bit, oh, let's see, is it bigger? It's just like the tiniest amount bigger than the Happy Planner uh, cover, which is totally fine with me. I have no issue with that at all. And let's take that off right now. And then I also ordered a bookmark. Let's see if that sticks out above it or not. It does stick out above it, so that's cool. Okay, so I have that. And then I don't think I ordered this. I think maybe she sent this. Maybe I need to double check my order. I don't think I ordered this because I actually don't really use um, erasable pens or markers or anything like that but it looks like it would sit in not go above the page you can't really see it since that's a light background but you can see it here it does not go above the page so it cannot be used as a bookmark but that's a nice touch that's I suppose if you wanted it to be here and let me find a blank spot here this is easily added to your happy planner and then flipped over and out of the way to get to your paper. So that's nice. That's a nice addition. I love these covers though. I think they're really pretty. I love the simple black and white, but I love the colorful. So depending on how I feel, I like the choice of being able to switch things out. And finally, let's move these stickers out of the way. Finally, the bullet bundle. This is from Sunshine Sticker Co. This is a subscription that I get regularly. So we have the card that is personalized, washi, a pen, and then the sticker pack. Let's get this opened. So the sticker says greetings from here. I feel like I saw a preview or I saw what this is gonna look like. I think it's travel themed. Maybe I might need a reminder. Here is a pastel colored mechanical pencil. That's really pretty. I love that color. 0.5 is um, a good size for me when I'm using pencils. So that's cool. I love stationary supplies. You guys know that from just watching my videos. I love um, office supplies. So this is the Collecting Memories collection. Sorry, Collecting Memories, Collecting Memories, um, September. So I did get this, like I'm going to say on time because I updated the address that was totally on me last time that's how come I didn't get it until much later so okay the pen uh sorry the pencil two washi tapes kind of a not skinny but thinner and then a typical size so that one is like a cityscape and then the traditional uh, days of the week that is included in the bullet bundle and then here are the stickers this is um vinyl stamp decals these are really cute i did see these actually uh that she previewed somewhere i thought that they were really nice just like a fun shape so you have a whole variety of little vinyl stickers i like these these are nice i suppose these could also be put on my sewing machine or the water bottle anywhere for a nice little decoration those are cool and then here are the stickers this is different I feel like this is different paper this is really nice like vinyl premium paper so here is a sheet of deco cityscape uh, images and some buses and some postage stamps I just love those those look really good these are also some more postage stamp size ones with some washi Here's some boxes and some washi, some headers and some full boxes. Love that. These are all, I don't know if you can, if it's picking it up on camera. These are all cut out shapes. This one is circles. Let's see if I can like, oh, transparent circles. Nice. Different sizes. Looks to be one, two, three, four different sizes. And then here's like a light purple. That looks really cool. And then these are squares. Lots of different sizes here for these red and blue. Love that. That looks really good. Oh, cool. I really like these words. I like script and popping that in my bullet journal or next year I'm going to do memory planning. So 
that is definitely something I'm also thinking about right now. Um, the other reason that I got the Happy Planner, okay, now I can't put that back in there. The other reason why I got the Happy Planner um, uh, new covers is because I am thinking of doing my bullet journal in my Happy Planner next year. I'm not sure, I think I mentioned it in a previous video, and since that video has been filmed, I'm not positive that I've decided, but I wanted to have the option. And then of course, if I'm going to bullet journal in that, I definitely want like my own cover or something that I could, I can't personalize this. I got it personalized, but like I can't change it. So I really like having these as options. This is a good size. I use, I do use my Happy Planner notebooks every day because of uh, taking notes for my classes. So I'm still going to use them regardless because I'm still in school through like half of next year. Um, and it'll it's going to be really good. So there you have it. I'm going to end the video here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the notifications so that you are made aware every time I post a new video. I'm trying to post a video once or twice a week and I think it's going pretty good so far. Have a great day.